Thank you very much for joining us. Despite the short notice, we really appreciate your participation. We would like to start the joint press conference by Isuzu Motor Company, Hino Motor Company, and Toyota Motor Corporation. First, let me introduce the people on the stage today. The representative director and president of Isuzu Motor Company, Masanori Katayama. Representative director and president of Hino Motor Company, Yoshio Hino, Shimo. Representative Director and President of Toyota Motor Corporation, Akio Toyoda. So, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, uh, Toyoda will make the remarks explaining. Uh, Toyoda is my name. Hello, everyone. I would like to talk about the significance of the partnership by our three companies. I have long been having discussions with President Shimo of Hino about strengthening collaboration within the Toyota group. In your same corporate group, we have Daihatsu with whom we have in common passenger cars. So it was easy to create synergistic effects with Daihatsu in car making. On the other hand, commercial vehicles are a go it alone business of Hino, making it difficult to find a connection with Toyota's car making, which is centered on passenger cars. However, the situation has drastically changed due to the case revolution. In particular, it is difficult to popularize electrified vehicles unless unless they are promoted together with infrastructure. The introduction of the first generation Mirai fuel cell vehicle made me realize this. I think that is a good example of knowing after having tried. Instead of thinking from a manufacturer's perspective of we should make this kind of car, we came to think about things from a user's perspective of what should we do so that people will use case technology. And this led me to see a clear direction for partnership with Hino. What we are now being called upon to do is refine case technologies and disseminate them. To achieve that, I arrived at the notion that it is important to implement such technologies through commercial vehicles in unison with infrastructure. And there was one more thing viewed from a user's perspective. Shippers use both Hino and Isuzu trucks. If Hino and Isuzu work together, we would be able to face 80% of Japan's commercial vehicle customers and come to know their reality. And if we use Toyota's case technologies, we may be able to solve many of those customers' difficulties. Thinking so, I consulted President Kadayama of Isuzu. To build an ever better mobility society, it is becoming more important not to only compete but to also cooperate. This partnership could not be realized even if any one of our three companies were missing. By utilizing the strengths of three companies, I think we can help many of our transportation colleagues on site. This desire to help will also be linked to our hopes for the reconstruction of Tohoku. Since the Great East Japan earthquake, I have visited Tohoku every year in March. That's because I have thought all alone that what I can do is never forget about that disaster. This year marks the 10th anniversary of the earthquake disaster, so I was wondering which site I should visit. As I was thinking about it, I was given an opportunity to visit Namie town in Fukushima prefecture, which is advancing initiatives for the future. On site, I was able to talk with Fukushima governor 
Uchibori and Namie Mayor Yoshida about their thoughts on reconstruction. One project has advanced since then. Isuzu and Hino fuel cell trucks are carrying goods using green hydrogen produced in Namie Town. And we will contribute to the realization of uniform waste-free delivery by linking make, transport, and use using connected technology. Together with everyone in Fukushima, we will make the work of transport people easier and propose new lifestyles to people on the youth end. We are now living in an uncharted era in which we can foresee the right direction. In such an environment, you first have to try, and from there you can see what's waiting next and try again. Toyota has survived so far by doing so again and again. This time, engaging more in the transportation front line, our three companies will work together and try it first. We have just stood at the starting point. Please look forward to the efforts of our three companies as we attempt to get moving from a user's perspective centered on where the action is taking place. Thank you. Next speaker is Mr. Shimo. I'm Shimo, the president of Hino Motors. The, first of all, I feel that this new framework has made the first secure step towards solving challenging issues our customers and the society are facing. Through my contact with the people in the field of transportation, I have had a strong aspiration to solve problems they faced. From the standpoint, uh, I have uh, always discussed with President Toyota about partnership between Toyota and Hino. I also discussed with Mr. Katayama whether we could collaborate together beyond our position as rival companies in order to solve the problems that our customers in transportation and uh, their drivers are faced with. Based upon this background, it is my great pleasure to start this uh, new partnership of three companies. Let me tell you about the real situation on site of the transportation industry. At present, there are more than 60,000 transportation logistics companies in Japan. Every day, they load trucks with goods, transport, and deliver them. Though it is such hard labor, they are working diligently to deliver each important parcel, surely to people who are waiting for them. We at Hino Motors share the same viewpoints as our customers who are working hard in the center of lifeline transportation, and we were engaged in many initiatives to solve problems. However, the environment surrounding transportation and logistics is getting severer, and if this continues, someday it may become impossible to deliver goods. The first challenge is a shortage of drivers. It is hard to find a person who wants to become a driver. Being a driver is it's extremely hard job because of accident risk, long working hours, and numerous other work required aside from driving. In the long distance uh, transportation, drivers have to spend almost the same amount of time or longer for non-driving duties. For example, non-uniform mixed uh, packages have to be manually loaded for two hours, then they drive for five hours to reach the destination where when he has to wait uh, one hour till the cargo reception time, then after that the goods inspection and unloading take another two hours. In the city area driver, delivery driver's workload is continuously increasing because of e-commerce, which demands multiple small parcels delivered at designated time. Also, the cargo volume fluctuates according to the season and time of the day. And the third challenge is this, uh, the next challenge is this uh, transport efficiency. And sometimes there is no goods to transport on the way back, and at present, loading efficiency is less than 50%. And the third challenge is the carbon neutral. Reducing carbon dioxide emission in transportation sector in Japan is necessary for Japan to achieve carbon neutrality. It is not sufficient to just electrify trucks, which are the tools for work. 
unless we can realize widespread use of easy to use electric vehicles where costs are controlled, we can reduce CO2 emission. As I mentioned, improving transportation efficiency is another very important factor to reduce CO2 emission in transportation sector toward achieving carbon neutrality. These challenges emerge as a result of higher demand and expectation toward transportation from the society, but it is a fact that we have not proposed comprehensive solution to these problems. To solve these problems, I believe there are a lot of areas areas where we can cooperate beyond company domain. Collaboration in connected platform among companies enables reduction of waiting time for trucks and improves loading efficiency. Through this new partnership, many transportation operators will be able to use electrified vehicles. Then, more important is, if these problems are solved, jobs in transportation sector become more attractive to recruit more people to work in this sector, including drivers. We would like to see goods delivered when people want them to bring smiles to their lives. To achieve this goal, we will aim at logistics reform openly uh, with all the stakeholders involved in transportation and logistics. I shall call upon Mr. Katayama. Thank you. I am Katayama from Isuzu. Over the past six years since I was inaugurated as the president of this company, I was asking myself what this company stands for as we experienced different situations day in and day out. And my conclusion is the company stands for the power and attitude of generating innovation for the society. The auto industry faces a big wave of case, and therefore innovation is imperative. We don't have much more time, to le time left. And the national strategy for green growth requires innovation from all industries, including energy and manufacturing. It's a pretty colossal challenge. A delay and transformation in one sector can distort the harmony of the whole. It's a pretty delicate structure. As a commercial vehicle manufacturer, we have to fulfill our responsibility and we have been identifying opportunities for innovation. And certainly partnership with Cummins and Volvo Group came out of that passion of mine. As we run the company, I was given this opportunity to talk with Mr. Toyoda and Mr. Shimo about our customers, society, and monozukri manufacturing. And that discussion triggered this, this partnership. Hino remains our biggest competitor. We compete with each other globally, day in and day out. That will never change. However, at the foundation of that competition is a shared passion for better logistics and better society. Toyota is a passenger car manufacturer, but then the difference between passenger cars and commercial vehicles are irrelevant when it comes to the passion for the better society and better Japan. Since its foundation, Toyota gave birth to countless number of innovations, TPS in manufacturing, hybrid and fuel cell vehicles in electrification, and the list goes on. Hino understands commercial vehicles the best, and Toyota has the massive technology and execution power of technologies which can be applied to light-duty trucks. Three companies put together, we can create innovation to overcome this large tide of case to be able to offer our customers more useful light-duty trucks and solutions. Now, let me touch upon the technology partnership. First of all, about electrification of commercial vehicles. Carbon neutrality is a major challenge for the entire Japanese industry, not only the automotive sector. 
logistics operators, as well as other customers who want to reduce their carbon footprint, ask us about electrification of the vehicles. EVs and FCCVs have many challenges, including cost reduction and infrastructure. Three companies this time around decided to work together for electrifying and using FCs for light duty trucks to reduce vehicle cost. And the social implementation in Fukushima will help us also engage with the society and customers. The next is the connected technologies. The labor shortages as well as increased burden on drivers for re-deliveries and freight handling workload. Digitalization is required also to meet the new needs, emerging needs of transport. And that calls for the, our effective response to digital transformation. Wasteless trucks and efficient trucks will contribute to carbon neutrality as well, and connected technologies will be a major part of it. We will really be connected to Hino and Toyota's platform. We will solicit for other partners to join us in order to build the commercial connected foundation to help solve our customers' challenges. We will offer various logistics solutions going forward, and we will be open in our partnerships for any like-minded partners. Toyota and Isuzu signed a capital alliance agreement for cross-holding. This is a part of Toyota's ongoing efforts to make friends or find like-minded partners. This alliance will be able to support our joint development of technologies. Thank you very much.